All right, we have here the access methods uh, from the control or from the console keyboard and monitor. <clears throat> you have options to select, to use control all F1 or all F1. Um, and you got different examples here depending on your operating system and PC that you're using to open the terminal to use Linux. Um, you can also do this from an application on the menu from the desktop SCUI. And then SU is a command that switches a user to show prompt. Um, you can use SU-L using your username and it creates a new login show. Uh, you can use SU SU dash to get to the root and loads the environmental variables. Uh, the where am I command, you pwd, and it'll show you example here, home stack logs, and then pwd-l, it shows the same output, and then if you put oh, <coughs> uh, pwd-p, which I only put dash p there for some reason, but pwd-p uh, will display var log. Um, dash l resolves symbolic links, dash p will flag, which actually will Display the actual path without resolving symbolic links. Uh, who am I command displays the, the current user. Um, for example, here I typed in who I who am I, and it shows Zach, and then it goes back to a blank output. Um, that's pretty much it for that. We have the uname command that prints the sense of information. Uh, there's different uname commands, uname-a, dash o, dash p, and I have examples of each here. Uname-a uh, shows Linux, the user, and the time, date, as well as the version of Linux. Um, uname-p shows the uh, operating system that Linux is running on, and then uname-o shows the um, version of Linux. I don't know, exec command um, you can use it a few different ways. You can use exec dash C, exec dash A, exec dash L, dash C will empty the environment. Um, I have a few examples here using bash with exec uh, bash and then exec ls. It will display desktop downloads, pictures, templates, documents, music, code, and videos for the documents. And then I also have a return output to nothing. Uh, but Exact A use to pass the name to the zeroth argument. Exact L use to pass dash to the zeroth argument. And then we have CD command. Um, I have an example here. Uh, find out who I am. And then we're trying to use CD to notify the documents in the directory. So. We type in cd document slash users docs slash example and then the output would be uh, what I put in for cd but then it will also show the root users file directory as well as username and where it is going and then the final output is the final um, file that would be completed using cd. And then we have LS, which I had taken an example from online, and I have it in my notes for the reference. Um, but here we have LS, and it shows names of file directly, directories in the current directory. Also shows all files in the directory, including hidden files. Um, and then it kind of categorizes them into different file types. So we got blue, look at this example, it shows purple. Um, that's the directories. Text files are white, links to cyan, executables are green, and compressed files are red. We have the green, we have, we have a light green there, which I believe is supposed to be the white. Um, and then we have the purple, which is represented as the blue. 
and then we have the red, which is the compressed files on there. So there's two examples that I pulled from online. Um, you can also use ls-l, and it'll display the information on files, including files that has permissions, owners, modify date, D will display directories, S file size, and X sorts by extension. Uh, the history command will show Linux's history. Um, for example, here I have history five, it shows 1994 through 98 history. Um, and then we have an example of clearing the 1997 history. And then the C option will clear the history as well as using the word clear. And then we have an example clear, which is again, which is the same example. Um, it clears the shell screen. So we go down here after we hit clear and it should clear the shell screen. Now we have chcs command or chsh command. Uh, which prompt which will uh, list all the installed shells. Um, for example, here we have chsh-1, which lists all installed shells. And then if we want to um, change, the, change the shell, uh, we do chsh-s, and then we choose the shell type that we'd like to use. Like we have bin sh, bin ash, bin bash, bin dash, um, whole list there that we could switch the default shell to and then finally we have exit which will exit the current shell there's two ways to exit exit using specific parameters and exit without parameters and it will clo will close and return to the status um, I have an example here of exit which would return to the status as the first one and then the second example is exit with a specific parameter which would close that specific terminal and keep the shell open as well so you could continue to close um, other terminals if you like or you can just press exit and be done um, hopefully that helps somebody hopefully that was a good uh, explanation of commands in linux